Hello everyone and welcome to Friday. So we've got the loft uh, set up for the stream tonight, which I'm really, really excited about. Looking forward to playing the quarry with um, with Alex and Haley. Uh, camera, mics, lights, etc. But the one thing that we don't have that I was, I was like, yeah, we probably don't need, but now I'm like, well, maybe we should try and find, is a green screen that would actually fit back there. Now there's not a product it's not like an Elgato green screen product that is as wide as we would need it. So what we'll need to do if we want to go this route is we're going to need to find some green fabric. But I figured it was worth looking. We can go and we can see if maybe it's a possibility for something to get. So what I need to do is I need to turn this on. And I need to just take a peek here and see the lights aren't on. I should probably turn on a light here. I can do this one. That's easy. Yeah. Look at all the light that that provides. The answer is uh, some. Peaking is on, so let me turn it off. So how much of the um, how much of the couch are we going to see? So this is you know framing for like this is like Mal myself for like a breakfast stream. So we have to add Alex and Haley in, and we could probably probably here. I mean, this is all the way zoomed out, and then you start to get. Uh, a little of the barreling effect. Um, maybe, yeah, maybe like here, I don't know. So it looks to me like four billies wide. I mean, if we scrunch together, we could probably do something like this, which would also be probably fine. Um, but maybe here, I don't know. So I'm gonna measure that and uh, figure out how long that is. And then we'll see if we can find fabric of that height and uh, and width, and we have to hurry because it's uh, it's one thirty. So the length that we need uh, in order to, I mean, adequately cover things and then also give us a little breathing room uh, would be twelve feet. So they measure fabric in yards, so four yards. Um, and then for height, the shelves are just a little bit taller than me, so they're near as a hair seven feet we want to give us a little extra to make sure that we can attach it on the top so seven feet is probably good um, and then also they don't have to drape all the way to the floor because it's going to be behind the couch so 12 feet and seven feet but if we did eight feet that would be fine too a little bit could drag on the ground and it'd probably be okay um unless kept laid on it and pulled it down that wouldn't be great but um yeah. And then the other thing is that whatever material we get, we want to make sure is relatively thick enough. If it's not super thick, then we may want to double layer it. It's kind of fun because, um, you know, for a green screen, I've been using the Elgato green screen, which works perfect for one person and works pretty good for two people as long as you're, you know, you're pretty close. In high school, um, I was doing video production stuff, making little short films and things with my friends. And I wanted a green screen because I wanted to experiment with chroma key. And I did this exact same thing. I wanted to go to the fabric store and get um, green fabric. So I did. And it's just kind of fun that, you know, now all of these years later, I'm, I'm doing this again. Things that I, I did when I was, I was a kid, when I was in high school, was um, I actually... I wanted to, to have the screen up somewhere, so we uh, sewed the fabric at the top over itself so it, you could put a PVC pipe in it. So then that PVC pipe could be held up and then it would be you know down. So that was kind of neat. Um, but the thing that we screwed up was at the time, we it was just one single sheet of fabric and it was too uh, thin. And where we had hung the sheet for one of the things we were doing, there was, uh, it was actually not on a wall. <laughs> it's a long story, but at the time, this is what we had to work with. Where we were doing it, we, uh, the space that we had was not a wall, and there was actually light coming in from behind. So it was, it was a learning experience, but I was young and I learned a lot. So let's see if I can maybe, maybe, things in the room clicking, I love that. Let's see if I can, That's is that clicking? I think that's clicking. One of the UPSs is clicking, which does happen occasionally. Yeah. Not very often. I actually don't really know why it does that. 
there's been times where I feel like it's been related to uh, the wind. Yeah. And like... I'm sure there is stress on the lines. Yeah, that must be it. Because that happened at our old place, too. On really, really windy days, the UPSs would click. And it is windy. There's a hurricane. I mean, it's not a hurricane here and now, but um, the remnants of a hurricane. It's no longer a Cat 1 now, is it? Uh, I'm not entirely sure. It only just came ashore. Okay, yeah. Well, if it just came ashore, it's going to be de- decreasing in, in intensity. Um, yeah, it's, it's weird living in Raleigh because historically I have been a coastal boy. I've been on the beach and, um, you know, hurricanes are a, a great concern. And because I've grown up with that concern, I have a lot of uh, sympathy and empathy towards anyone who's going through any sort of hurricane situation. And Florida got hit bad. Fort Myers got hit really, really bad. And I've seen some of the destruction um, of that online. So first off, good vibes to anyone who is affected because it's pretty extreme down there. And then it actually came up through and gathered a little bit more speed and power and then is slamming into um, the Carolinas. By the time it gets to us, though, because we're so far inland here in Raleigh, there it's going to be some wind and some rain to the point that I didn't even feel like we needed to cancel the stream tonight. So that's a little weird for me. Um, not used to that. I mean, happy about that, but I'm still not quite used to that idea. Alex and Haley even asked, they're like, are we going to be able to do the stream tonight? And, you know, I looked at the weather and stuff and I was like, yeah, I think so. I don't think it's going to be a problem by the time we get everything. I mean, it is going to be wind and there is going to be rain. There's a potential that we'll lose power, but based on everything right now, I don't think so. If I'm wrong, then I'll feel dumb later based on this clip, but um, I think it'll be okay. Of course, we've had other electrical issues in this house, so <laughs> losing power would not be, uh, it wouldn't be the first time. Yeah, something here will definitely work. What do you think about this, Mel? Uh, yeah, there's some around the corner, too. Okay, that's the right color. This is? I thought this was it. Well, <laughs> it doesn't actually matter, right? This actually feels a little, I don't know. Yeah. This, cause this feels yellow, this feels closer. Let's check around the corner, so. So we looked around Joanne for a bit, and they actually have green screen fabric. Um, which is, I guess, a, some, a, some sort of canvas. And I, I don't know exactly the advantage of using that. Um, it's probably um, it's probably a little better with light reflections and absor- absorbing light. However, it was $14.99 a yard, whereas flannel was $3.99. So we went with the flannel. So it would be a little bit cheaper. But you will have to sew that when we get home. Mm-hmm. You can do that. Mm. We're just grabbing some lunch quick before we head back. And I think we're going to have enough time, so what? It's raining? Ian. Well, yeah, well, re- Ian for us. Mm-hmm. Ian for Raleigh. It's, it's light. So the good news is we were able to get the fabric and the thread. We got home, and we got this thing out, and we are ready, except we don't have the bobbin. I don't know where my bobbins or any of my other feet are. Which is really yeah. weird because the, I normally keep them in this box. Well. And I have three other sewing boxes of like fabric and stuff. I can't find any of that. I can't find any of my pins. No idea. I mean, Mal also hasn't sewed in forever. So it's really not that unusual to be missing things that we would not have known. Because it's probably been several years. However, we're in luck. Because it just so happens that we have a friend in Raleigh who is a um, seamstress and is very good at sewing and sews regularly and knows uh, what the- Just got her own machine set up. And just, yep, just got her own machine set up and that person is Haley. So we are gonna grab this fabric and we are going to run over there very quick uh, because time is going away. Welcome to sewing hour. It is sewing. Weren't we just talking about that on breakfast time too? Yeah, but remember, remember kids, If you're looking at the needle, it's too late. (laughs) This is the most important thing I've ever learned about sewing with a sewing machine. If you're watching the needle go up and down, it's too late to fix anything. So you should be looking up here. 
And this is why they actually keep marks up at the front of the machine. It's because they're trying to get you to look here and not look there. And what I do when I'm working on like big projects or things that like have very specific amounts, I will have a piece of painter's tape and I will just put the painter's tape line so that I don't have to look at anything. And I will put the painter's tape all the way to the front of the table so that I'm like starting it correctly all the way back here. Uh, some modern machines have like laser stuff, which is neat. But um, anyway, don't look at the needle. Don't look at the needle. I'm, I'm learning a lot today too. Assessment underway. So power went out. <laughs> we got home, we walked in the door, and we walked in the door and the power flashed and we're like, hmm. And then the power flashed again and we went, hmm. Then the power went out and it was out for like 25 or 30 seconds and then it came back on and we were like, hmm. And now the power's gone out. And it's just kind of funny to me because we went through all of the effort today to do everything. And I even said earlier in the day, I was like, watch, the power will go out. And I was like, I'll eat these words. I ate the words. I ate the words. Although I will say that one of the things I've noticed since we've lived in Raleigh is there's been times where the power has gone out a little more easily than it. I feel it should have. I feel um, like it did that at our last house in the very beginning when we first moved there. Yeah. So, hey, we have a green screen. <laughs> we have a wide green screen. We didn't even set it up. All of the UPSs in the house are beeping at us. We should probably stop that. We should probably go turn them on. At this point, the power's been out for, what, 10 minutes? Yeah. I don't think it's coming back. I don't know. You'll have to log into the energy company and see. Yeah, it's six. Excuse me. It's six o'clock. The stream is not for 90 minutes, but like, it's hard to know. It's hard to know what's gonna happen. I'm not sure. So it's about, I don't know, 20 or 30 minutes later. Um, power has not come back. Um, I actually don't know how well folks can see me. Can they see me? I have no idea. Oh, well, I mean, you can, you're looking at the screen. There you go. Oh, good. Thanks. I got my, my special assistant light. So Alex and Haley still have power. So I was talking to them, and I was talking to Chaz, and we're trying to figure out what to do. And Chaz is like, if you, if you can, you probably should try and stream something, even if it's not what you planned on. And I was like, okay. So I have the, um, I have the, the FX3 in the case, and I have the laptop. And I can just take the camera and the laptop over to Alex and Haley's and we can take, because we actually got pizzas. We got pizza from Papa Murphy's earlier that we were going to make. And we could take those and we could try and do a stream over there. You know, it's been really windy, but the wind is, the worst of the wind is getting ready to, to be done. And the, there's going to be a break in the rain based on what the weather app says. So... That seems like a plan. Probably the stream probably won't be any longer than an hour. It'll be probably a short thing, but at least we'll have done something. And um, you know, it'll still we'll still get to hang out with Alex and Hale. It'll still be fun. So I guess that's what we'll do. Um, the only problem is that we are pulled into the garage and the power is out. So we have to get out of the garage the old-fashioned way, which is something that neither of us have ever done. We did it at Blue Wall House. We did. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we could do it. Yeah. All right. Well, shoot. Let's do it. <laughs> I forgot that one of the features is that you can actually turn on the light while you're recording. Mm -hmm. So I did that. Uh, so we just got our stuff together. So we're like, we get all of our stuff. It's like, all right, we can at least stream from Alex and Haley's. And then we got a message and they're like, okay, our power's out. <laughs> and I'm like, well... You know, what, what, at, what, at what point do you call it? At what point do you go, well, shoot, I don't know. Um, it's really not that bad out there, so I don't feel uncomfortable, like, driving over there to at least hang out with them for a bit. Um, I think that would be fine. So I'm down to do that. Um, and I, I could, very technically, I have enough stuff, battery packs and stuff, that I could 
use my phone for data and actually go live for just a little bit. I could do that. Uh, it's not possible. So, you know, even if the stream is 20 minutes long, I could maybe do that tonight. Uh, yeah. But if their power is out, it does mean that we're not taking pizza. Yeah. They said they have some charcuterie stuff, so we could eat that. So is that the plan then? I guess so. I it the plan has changed so many times today, like do 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 do. Yeah, it's fine. It's 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 totally fine. How do you how do you even sum up? I know, I know. There's a lot that's occurred. Um, <laughs> on the way over, because right before we left, we said I think we said that the 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 power was dead, and we're like, okay, we're but we're still gonna go. But the, their power came back on, which you can tell because we're at their place and their power is on. So we ended up bringing the pizzas. We made pizzas and we got a chance to stream. And it was a very weird stream. It was, I mean, it was basically the, the, con the same concept as breakfast stream. But it, we ate pizza on this couch. And that was it. And uh, it was definitely not the quarry. But you know what? I think it was... I think it was the opposite of the quarry. But, but it was something it beautiful. Was, it was your horror, though, because, like, everything was acting up a little bit. So that was scary. Don't you love streaming from a MacBook that's seven years old? It's... it's it, there's a lot of things. It's you like... You haven't updated the software on in, like, a year. I use that MacBook just to play DDR, so I don't do anything else on it. Ooh, are you, are you, uh, do you do the keyboard? No, we got the pad. That tickles a lot. See, I don't let her. Step in the song. Yes, ruin this video. Put the Darude. Um, yeah, so the stream, it was a different stream. If you, if you weren't there, um, It'll be, I'll put it on the channel. You should at least check it out because you'll be it's, like, oh, that's what that was. Yeah, it, I, I feel like if there's any VOD you check out, that should be the one, especially if you like sewing. There was a lot of sewing information. People are really excited that now there isn't just camera talk. There's yeah. just sewing talk. <sighs> there, we, there got is. A, we got to crash more breakfast streams. I told you we could. Who's you who are very the, you are very allowed to do that. We don't control your house. Yeah. Yeah. Give yeah. We gave you a key to our house. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, and we gave you one of our garages. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I gave it to them just like when everybody was here, like we can take it back. If yeah. Oh, it's fine. But I gave it to them because they didn't have a key. We can get in any them. part of your home. That's fine as long as we get it back. I just figured that then they could. I would. I would just leave that door unlocked and they could get in that way. Yeah, I'll give, I'll give you back. Key, so I'll give you. Yeah, give you can have it back. I'll no, give it back to you. Your car is parked in our garage right now. Isn't I know, weird? and if you lose power, then we'll just have to sleep on this couch. I mean, we <laughs> do have a guest bed. We do own a guest bed. I know, but that's upstairs, and I'm down here, and I'm so tired. Anyway, so um, hard. the the. The, the stream went well, although I have to say, I really am truly looking forward to playing the quarry. We, we went through the trouble of buying the fabric and Haley made the green screen. And after all of that, like, I really do want to play this game. Hey, now we got now we got more time. So try out the green screen, make sure that it fits. And if it doesn't, yeah. we can get more fabric and fix it beforehand. Yeah, that's mm -hmm. probably a good idea. We'll set it up for tomorrow or something. Okay, well, I'm going to end the stream. End of, no, vlog. <laughs> oh, God. It's a bit, it, it was it was a very hectic stream. Um, there was a there was a lot of alerts to read. All of the technology was not working because it, it just inherently doesn't work. Safari was having all sorts of problems, and as soon as chat realized that it, I was having problems, they were like, "Well, we can make this about a thousand times worse." Um, so we got a lot of good lore out really there. There was good lore. We got knife it. rights. We yeah, got, we got uh, get hashtag Steven's knife favorite rights. Pokemon are Blooper the Squid and <laughs> Value, Value Decks. Value Decks. Value Decks. Yeah, we learned some things. Um, it was a good stream overall. It was the birds and the bees. <laughs> yes, the yes. Yeah, my bad. Anyway, next week, um, <laughs> as long as there's no additional hurricanes, uh, we will play the quarry, which I'm looking forward to, and it should be a lot of fun. So, and y'all will be there for that too. Mm -hmm. If you let us in your house, if you give us a key to your house, I mean, we if we're there, we'll let you in. You give don't us a key to your house. 
We gotta go make coffee. Yeah, we'll we'll do that. Thanks for watching. Let's be back tomorrow. Ciao.